All right guys, so today it is the end of the night. It is the end of the night. It's like 8.02 I think and the kids are upstairs. I just put Jackson to bed and my mom is here with us. Mimi's here so she's upstairs putting Riley to bed. So I thought that it would be fun to do like an after the kids go to bed clean with me because you guys, you guys are gonna see my house is trashed. My house is trashed. Like it's been a while since it's been this bad. And that's that we weren't even home most of the day. So I don't know how the house got this destroyed. Joe is not here with us right now. He's on a work trip. So maybe that's why this house is a mess because when Joe's home, he kind of helps me keep up with everything. No, no ma'am. Today the house is bad. So let me show you what we're working with and then we can kind of clean up together and I can show you what my house really looks like at the end of the day. So over here we've got um, the kitchen, the kitchen table, whatever. We just had dinner so I've got still chips and stuff I gotta put away. These are all the kids' new library books. Um, outside is looking pretty bad too. We've got the pool full of water and little figurines. So I've got to go out there and clean that up. Random shoes, all the things. Pretty sure there's a Ziploc bag in there too. Don't know why that's there. So yeah, not looking good. And then let's see, my mom kind of cleaned up a little bit of the kitchen, but we'll still kind of go through some of this stuff. I got these new sunflowers today. And then let's see, this is the bag that we took today when we went to... Um, the little park that we went to, whatever, the little farm. So I've got to put this away and let's see. The toy situation is looking pretty messy. Okay, so I got some work to do there. The random baby with her face in the floor, it's nice. Okay, cool, cool. Um, and then over here, I've got, I've got a bunch of boxes that we've gotten over the last couple of days. So I need to like put them in the recycling and I've got these boxes, more shoes. Like they're never like not shoes somewhere. Like there's always a bunch of crap ton of shoes. Um, and then this stuff I have to put down in the basement. It's just like the diapers and the wipes and paper towels that I ordered from Amazon. And uh, yeah, so well, I guess look, my shoes are there so I can't really say too much. Random bowl, this does not belong here. So we're gonna start down here and then we'll make our way upstairs. It's just been, you know, like I'm trying to have fun with Mimi here. Like we were in, out of the house, we went out today, but then things pile up. And the thing is that tomorrow our cleaning ladies are coming to clean up the house and they obviously cl can't clean when the house looks like uh, this. So let's try to tackle some of that. I hope that while you guys watch this, maybe you're watching this at night and we can clean together and I don't know, you can like recoup from a crazy day just like I'm gonna do now. So let's just get to it. Let's start here in the kitchen and then my room is a disaster so we'll do that too. But yeah, I love your freaking faces. Thanks for being here. Let's clean together. Let's get our life together. Let's do it now. guys let's go outside because this is always like joe's least favorite thing to clean up but i mean the kids are out here playing and this is what it looks like at the end of the day so let's see what the situation is here first of all we always close up our umbrella in case like it storms at night we don't want it like flipping over that's kind of what happened to the last umbrella that we had during a storm it was open and it tipped over so make sure to do that i also always make sure that if they were playing with the water table that it is um drained because you don't want like a bunch of water just like standing there and then like mosquitoes come so i gotta tip that over freaking freaking hurt my foot with the little cow cow's freaking head horns went into my foot so that's great um so what do we got here I feel like this this is a little too much. Like there's seashells in here, which should not be here. Um, did not see that she got seashells in here. Joseph would be having the biggest fit of his life right now. I don't care too much because like, it's just water. Like to me, like there are other things that I would be more upset about. Like the kids have fun, the kids play. I don't really mind too much when they make a mess, especially if it's just water. Um, but like I said, like the cleaning up has to like justify 
like the fun they had has to justify the cleaning up like if they're playing with something for an hour then it's okay as long as the cleanup does not take me longer than an hour so it's kind of how i do my math in my head about whether or not it's worth it but this is not going to be good i have to clean up the seashells because if i flip this over the seashells are going to go straight through the deck and then she's going to be mad that she has no more seashells just flip this over <laughs> hold that thought this is like really spicy. <laughs> joseph buell come home <laughs> I can't. I need to find like, the right spoke. <laughs> okay, why can't I tip this over today? Here we go. See, like normally I can flip it over, but it was too full. All right. Alright, so that was exhausting. <laughs> I'm done cleaning up for the day. No, but seriously, like if you guys have pools um, for your little ones, like this is a great pool. It's super easy to fill up, um, which I like because I don't have to like set something up. I don't have to inflate something and like wait for it to inflate and then fill it up. Um, so this one is great. But I'm just curious, if you guys have like kiddie pools for your kids, how many of you guys actually do this every night? Like you take all the water out or you put it away because if it was up to me, honestly, I would leave it full for several days. But Joe would have a fit. Like, every night after the kids are out here playing, he has to clean it up. So is he crazy or am I crazy? You guys tell me. I mean, I don't know. Lately, you guys have been siding with him more than with me. So I don't know if I even want to ask that question. But, you know, this is a lot <laughs> to clean up every day. Right, so let's get all the little figurines. Let's put them back where they belong. They actually belong in this bin. So let's empty out this bin and then put them all in their home. Side is done i'm gonna clean up a little bit like the random cars and stuff that are here ride these little table that has more cars and stuff and then i'll move on to this area over here my very fancy playroom right here Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that now, since we're going to the library more often, we're making that like a regular thing. Like we always come home with a stack of library books. And ever since we started doing that, the library books literally just like stay on the kitchen table forever until we return them. So I'm thinking of making like an actual, like one whole little cubby. I think this cubby here, I'm thinking of making that one, like the one for the library books, seeing how that works out. So that way like they're kind of like all in one place when they're down here sometimes they go upstairs to like the kids room because they read them for bed but that way they don't have to be on the table so i'm gonna do some of that jackson took out all of the flash cards there's flash cards everywhere my friends like this is a random raisin why is there a random raisin over here um i'm just exhausted i am beat this is really the last thing that i want to be doing but I know that it will be much appreciated. Um, look, shoes within shoes. I just say cannot. Like there are only four of us, but there are like 15 pairs of shoes every night, like all over the place. I will say though, like I don't mind cleaning up. I don't mind tidying up, especially like after the kids go to bed where it's like, 
peace and quiet like if i wasn't filming this i could turn on a podcast i could like watch a show while i do this um it's the cleaning while the kids are around that really bothers me because it is like like it's almost like you're freaking like you're writing an email and they keep hitting backspace like that's what i think of in terms of like when you're trying to do anything with the kids around you're trying to clean up and then they come right behind you and make a mess and then you have to start all over again so i don't mind like when they're asleep like just i don't know tidying up decluttering when they're not around it is very therapeutic so like it doesn't bother me it's just i'm tired i'm tired and i really just want to like lay in my bed and watch um outlander and that be it but as you can see two tiny humans can make a whole lot of mess in a very short time also by the way like my pants they look like this because i spilled salsa on my pants when we were eating dinner and i put stain remover and um yeah now i have these two lovely stains so that's why i am a mess i was gonna say like oh don't think i'm a mess but i am a mess that's what you get from me at the end of the day so anyway i'm gonna shut my mouth let's keep doing this and then we can go upstairs i think or first we have to break down boxes and then we'll go upstairs Right, now I've got random things like this. Like Riley found a sticker book. I was putting stickers all over the place. I got some off of the floor, but I have to take them off all of the random places. Love that. That's what it's like to have two toddlers. This is the lid for the figurines that were outside. So we'll put that out here. But so far, I mean, this place definitely looks better than it did i still have the countertop i would love to clear off but i mean that is way better than what we started with i'm not gonna bother vacuuming tonight because um the cleaning ladies like i said tomorrow they're coming so they um vacuum the floor they mop the floors so i'm not gonna worry about the floors today but at least like this there's not as much stuff on the floor so they have more you know they're able to actually clean the house so now let's tackle this so this is stuff that's going down to the basement work on those boxes. I've got like more packages. We got some magic spoon that Joe's gonna be so happy about because I'm working with them here soon. So that came in. This is, um, I don't know if you've ever seen those California baby tents. They sent me a little tent. So at some point I'll open it up, but let's put Joe's seat back and his coaster. No red button. Let's start a collection of shoes. I have to go upstairs. These are mine. I think I have another. Well, my sandals I'll leave down here. These are right. These that can go over there where all the other shoes are. These are like her water shoes. We took them today because I knew that she was going to get her feet wet. And these are my sweaters that I got today. So I'm going to take these upstairs too. And then that's Jackson. So I'll start a pile here of stuff that's going upstairs. These shoes of his can go upstairs even though he's sleeping now. So I can't really take them to his room. But yeah, let's take boxes to the basement real quick. So I got a little sweaty doing that, I'm not gonna lie, but at least now it makes it a lot easier um, to put like all of that in the garbage and to put the boxes in the recycling because they're flat now. I can kind of fit more stuff in the recycling. So that's why we do that. But when you have like an entire stack like we did, it takes a little while.
All right, I'm gonna leave a few things out here, like out for now. I might come downstairs again, I don't know, but at least the front of the house has been cleared of all the boxes, except for like some of those things, but all of that mess has been put in the garbage and the recycling. I'm gonna go up now, and there are a couple things that I'm gonna take with me. I'm gonna leave my cookbooks here. These are my cookbooks that I got at the library. But I'm going to take up this box that I got from Tula because I'm going to work with them on a video here soon. I'm excited to try out their products. And I'll show you when I go upstairs to the bathroom. But this does not need to be in the kitchen. All right, so this is the state of my bedroom. I brought up the stuff that was on the stairs. And look, I haven't made my bed in like three days because Joe hasn't been here. And I don't really care to make my bed when he's not here. It's not the most important thing to me. Um, but obviously I have an entire mess over here. This is clothes that is uh, not dirty, it's clean, but I haven't put it away, so I need to do that. This is all stuff that is to donate. Most of it, I think not this stuff, this stuff is not to donate. But this stuff is stuff that's gonna be to donate that was in my mom's room, like where she's staying, so I just brought it in here. Yes, clearly I have some work to do here. I can put away some pajamas, put away more shoes. I've got my computer going here because um, I'm finishing uploading a video that's gonna go live tomorrow. And then my bathroom, my bathroom's actually not too bad. It's been way worse, but I can kind of declutter some of the stuff that's here, kind of put it where it needs to be. So let's see how much of that I can accomplish. And then I'll bring this to the bathroom and I'll show you guys that when I set up all of that in here. Okay, so that's a little bit better. So I cleared out all of the stuff, um, hung up a bunch of stuff. I, the stuff that was to be donated, I literally put it in a black bag and I just like put it in my car. So maybe tomorrow we can go take it to Goodwill. Um, but you see, like it's not like it can't be done. It's just that normally it requires some like uninterrupted time, which normally I don't get. And sometimes like today is a light work day for me now, like in the evening, because sometimes I have to work like at night after I put the kids to bed. I'm working or I have like a deadline so sometimes I have to do that and then that's why I have stuff all over the floor because I can't get to it so this makes me a lot happier like Joel seems to think that I like it when things are a mess and like I don't want you to think that I like it when things are a mess um I don't mind it like it's not the top of my priority list like when I've got other things going on but I always feel better when things are tidy and in their place and i don't see clutter everywhere it's just that i don't let the clutter like consume my life either like joseph buell so um that's kind of you know how i deal with things but anyway i'm gonna leave out my bible because hopefully i can read some of that in a little while after i finish taking a bath i've got my book that i'm reading so i'm gonna leave this out these pillows <laughs> just look like a hot mess um, what else we got here? Still gonna do some work, so we'll leave that out here. Um, I guess we can just put some of this stuff away. So like I said, this was a package that I got from Tula, and I'm so excited to work with them, but I've never tried their products. I've always seen people, like, talk about them, but I've never tried them. So they sent me a whole bunch of, like, um, this is a sunscreen, and they sent me a toner, which is cool. They also sent me, like, a face wash, which I'm excited to use. 
and then this is like I think a moisturizer a night cream this I'm actually super excited to try the cooling and brightening eye balm that's something that I had seen at Ulta and I almost bought it a couple times but then I was like okay I'm already spending too much money so there's some stuff here that I'm really excited that I get a chance to try out so I'll close this up in a minute and then this too like there's this face wash over here that I'm excited to try out purifying face cleanser so maybe I'll try that tonight and then there's just more stuff I've got to look into this these are like brightening um, like vitamin C serum like a uh, vitamin C drops so that's good. I've been trying to do more vitamin C, so we'll see if theirs is any good. And then also this one I think is another sunscreen, Protect and Glow. Do any of you guys use this stuff by the way? Like is there something that I should like look for? Like what's like the best of the Tula stuff? I I don't know. Like I said, I'm very new to this, but um, that's going to be part of my routine now. But we can probably uh, tidy up here a little bit and put the stuff where it belongs. So again, my counters are not perfect. I'm gonna let them get clean tomorrow. Otherwise I'd be in here like scrubbing cause there's like mascara and stuff like all over my counter. It's pretty bad in here, but I'll let them clean this tomorrow. But at least things aren't all over the place and I can kind of do my skincare a little better tonight. All right, so I finished taking a shower. I took a shower, I didn't wash my hair today, but I took a shower, um, did like my skincare and all of that. So I am gonna come down here just to like put away some things. I had made coffee, but it ended up not getting uh, drank because if I drink it at this time, I really won't go to bed. So um, I'm gonna try to tidy up just a little bit of this stuff here so that tomorrow we don't have to worry too much about it. My mom already put the dishwasher to wash, so anything that's in there, I'll just kind of leave to hand wash. But let's just do a quick little tidy up here so that way when they come tomorrow to clean, there's more that they can actually clean on my counter. Okay, so not perfect, but not awful. So I feel like things are like at least a little bit tidier. You can actually see some of the surface. I'm gonna work on more decluttering and tidying sometime this week. But for now, this is a lot better so that they can come and clean tomorrow. And like I already showed you, we cleaned up here, the toys. Um, a lot better here and that makes me very happy. So that is it. I'm gonna go upstairs and read and read my Bible and hopefully get to bed at a reasonable hour tonight. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, something a little different. This is what a night would look like of me trying to tidy up after the kids are in bed. Um, I feel a lot better now waking up to a clean house so that my kids can destroy it in 2.5 seconds but for now i feel good so thank you guys for watching i love your faces make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys